Now let's combine our different harmony sequences with these higher voicings. Our rhythm will be E5 to F5 for four beats each. And for our first oblique motion harmony, we'll play on the sixth string seventh fret to eighth fret, then move to the fifth string seventh fret. This will be played over the E5 chord as an oblique harmony. The seventh fret note blends, eight builds contrast, fifth string seventh blends, and we'll hold it for an extra beat, adding vibrato. One, two, three, four. Over the F5 chord, we'll blend with the sixth string eighth fret, to the fifth string seven for contrast, to the eighth fret for a blend. One, two, three, four. Next, we'll add a parallel harmony with some higher notes. Over the E5 rhythm, we'll start and end blending on notes and contrast in between. On the fourth string, nine to 10, to the third string, nine with the index up to 10, which allows us to comfortably reach to the second string 12, 13, 12. The rhythm is a little faster because we're playing eighth notes, dividing each beat into two pulses. The count is one and two and three and four and. Once you get the hang of it, you can also add some palm muting to the first few notes and even some vibrato at the end. Next, for the F5 chord, our harmony will be the fourth string 10th fret to the third string nine, to 10 with the index, to the second string, 12 with the ring, 13 with the pinky, to first string 12, then back to the second string 13. The reason for this pivoting back and forth is to make sure we blend with the background chord. So we're starting on a C note, which is the fifth interval in the F5 chord. Then we're using voicings from E5 and F5 to build contrast and blending and returning to the second string C note to blend with the F5 chord in the background. <laughs> 